today's video uh, is introducing Okuma's Tesoro Star Drag Reels. Uh, these pieces came on the market uh, right before Christmas 2017. They're 2018 models, unique. Yeah, uh, there's something a little bit different about these guys. Yeah, nice to see. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, these are the two models that are currently available. There is a third size. Um, this is the 10, this is the 12. There will be a little five, and who knows, maybe with a little bit of luck, we'll see something a little bit larger to fill this line out. Um, these are star drag reels. And, you know, oh, maybe you might remember you know, the Cedros you know, reels that were blue, a little more conventional in terms of their design. They too were star drags you know, around a, I think a $300 um, price point. You know, we did close those things out and picked up, oh my gosh, we probably gobbled up 400 pieces from Daiwa and got those into the hands of a lot of guys. You know, and there's kind of been a gap of star drag reels on the market. Yeah, and that's which is why there was so much you know, interest in these pieces. There are some things you can do with a star drag reel that we can't do with a lever drag. You know, chiefly, we could button them down in you know, a max drag without you know, detracting from their free spool performance. And the free spool performance is incredible. I should probably put a little dot on here you know, just so we can have this thing zing through. And, I'll, and maybe I'll do that in a second. Basically, these are all metal, all uh, machined aluminum, you know, you know, cast. Uh, you know, cold forged and machined. We have nice porting, which is a big pet peeve of mine. So I've got two ports here, way up high. Why is that? Because when you put the reel like that, you've got drainage down. Why two of them? Well, you don't have a vacuum lock. And then we have third down here on the gear case. You know, it's not too shabby, you know? You know, we've got three ports, so we're clearing it from the frame area, clearing it from the housing for the gears. Nice size down here. It's it's a nicely executed piece, and you can see the way these things are, are milled. There's not a whole lot of wasted, chunky, you know, metal on these things. They've been trimmed down so that they're quite light in terms of their mass, and they're more than adequate in terms of the drag performance. They'll do 10 kilos of drag. What does that mean? 2.2 uh, pounds per kilo, uh, 10 of them, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 22 pounds or so worth of drag. Uh, for reels of this size, very appropriate. And what size are they, you might be asking? Um, in the case of a 10, my gosh, it'll take, you know, uh, they're saying almost 500 yards of 50 pound braid. You, know, <laughs> you can go on the size larger, the 12 we can pick up more like, oh, almost again, 500 to 60 pounds on the brake. Okay, so we've got, you know, adequate drag to fish the line test that's, um, you know, proposed by the manufacturer on these guys. You know, that's fair. We've got great free spool performance, which we'll play with here in just a moment. And, you know, it, from a bearing standpoint, these are all five bearing reels. Basically, that's four bearings plus a uh, 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 roller bearing. Uh, and these are all you know, anti-corrosive type bearings, so they'll deal with salt water well. That's the intended purpose of the reels. And we still have our standard adjustment on the side to you know, make sure everything's centered properly. And then, you know, basically, the more free spool, the better. But let's take a look at how this free spool works. I'm, I'm really excited to show you that. Okay, let's play for some free spool here. Open up. Okay, I've got a little sticker on the spool there, and let's give her a fling. See what she does. That's pretty nice free spool performance here, guys. Now, <laughs> it's very nice free spool performance. And that little sticker stays at the bottom. That's <laughs> all it takes. Let's do this one more time. A lot of guys are real excited about these pieces coming out now for Wahoo, for tossing Wahoo bombs, Wahoo iron. You know, certainly they'll do that very well. Gear ratios on these guys, you know, we're at six to one, 6.2 to one across the board. And yep, that little sticker is gonna stay at the bottom. That, you know, just that little tiny bit of a mass is enough <laughs> with these free spin and bearings to, to, that little bit of mass goes to the bottom. That's not up on top, that's where she wants to go. Very good free spool performance on both of them. 
nice, nice pieces. I can see why guys would like these for their surface iron, you know, tossing bombs, you know, where there's a lot of casting. But, you know, don't discount bottom fishing on these. The strength is there, the drag is there, and you can button them down without uh, negatively affecting the free spool performance. So, you know, guys working some deeper iron, you know, that'd be too shabby. Better get this price tag off before somebody thinks we're selling these things for 12 bucks. Um, <laughs> So that is the Tesoro uh, from Okuma. Um, nice pieces. I think at this point in time, when the world of star drag reels, um, there aren't as many as there used to be. And I think the Tesoros could pretty well nail it. Just pretty well nail it. Pricing for both sizes uh, of the Tesoro, uh, currently anyway, the 10 and the 12, both are the same um, at $319. We sell these spooled up appropriately uh, with 300 yards of braid uh, and topped off with mono uh, if that is your preference. If it's strictly for bottom fishing, you may just go straight braid. Uh, but we do include that uh, with these reels. Uh, you've got several different choices uh, on the braid. And you know, one thing I didn't mention, I'm just noticing, you, know, you can adjust where you're gonna put the handle. So if you want more speed, put it in like it is. If you want a little more power, you can move that handle uh, and gain uh, a little bit of leverage on these. And again, you know, it's not a two-speed reel, it's a single speed. A little bit of leverage goes a long way. But the gear housing, you know, big gears on these things, and that's where a lot of the power comes from. You know, large, you know, large on the gear box, you know, that in gear gives you your cranking power. It's six to one, uh, 6.2. So, some of the nicest star drags on the market. Uh, take these and also the Daiwa Salt Saltiga star drags, which are back. Uh, and you probably have the two nicest star drags we've ever seen uh, in fishing. Uh, beautiful little pieces and very, very alike in terms of weight. Full specs are on our website, uh, so visit Sharkbait if you would. Yeah, and you can catch you know, the particulars on these pieces and the stuff that I missed up on uh, with the video. Thank you for watching. We'll have some more stuff posted you know, shortly. You know, and again, you know, thanks for your support over the years. You know, much appreciated here at Chuck Yeah, you know, from all the staff.